Now, to touch the animals, there are some rules. You want to make sure you only touch their backs. You want to avoid faces, tail, avoid faces, tails, and undersides. So only in the middle of their back, and there's some signs. The white areas. Are the well, they're not gonna hurt you. Look, they're like, who's going first? Oh, right. Right. I'm scared now because you know who not to touch. You guys know what that is? Alright, this is a horseshoe crab. You can touch right here where it's smooth on the middle of the side. Don't touch it, Kanan. You want to touch? The tail doesn't do anything. There you go. Oh my god. Go ahead. It's really hard. It's kind of like dinosaurs. Wow. Yeah. Like dinosaurs. How long have horseshoe crabs been around since dinosaurs, right? Wow. Alright, let me show you the other Look side. Look at that little tail coming up. Like, oh no. You already tested it. This is what a horseshoe like crab, crab looks like underneath. And the thing about them, they're not really crabs at all. They're actually more closely related to spiders and scorpions. Uh huh. Yeah, this one's a male because they got boxing glove shaped claws in the front. The females don't have those. That's the mouth right there. They have 10 legs. Those are their gills. Those are their gills. That's their mouth. Just like a crab, though. Yeah, but, and that's the tail. The tail, they only use that to flip the tofu. Now, we don't drop animals on each other because that's just not <laughs> oh wow! Right, right. Oh, right. Oh, wow. 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 Camouflaging himself. Yes. Like a shell or like with the dirt. <laughs> he's swimming all he's been swimming all day to let him rest. <laughs> Are you? Look, now, 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 Okay, I'm gonna touch okay. <laughs> the water gently, right? Uh -huh. Just stick your hand in there, right? Two fingers and right across the top. So when they flip over. So when they flip over. Yeah, when they have their mouths like this one. Okay. So right across the top. Nice. Yep. Wow. Yeah. Wow. They're 95% water, so they're very delicate.
Wow. Yes. Yes. The aquarium started. It was, um, I'm not sure if it was Professor or Dr. Paul who donated his tropical, his fish collection to the aquarium. Wow. That was in the original. That's, that's a red tail. A red tail? Red tail. A red tail. Catfish. Oh, wow. wow. One of the first oh, fish the here really? at the aquarium. Wow. All of the other fish that were in his collection died. Except for this one. And the first one. Well, the aquarium was donated in the late 70s. The aquarium opened in 1981. And he was he's older than me. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's not hitting me, me either. <laughs> little girl was very excited. She said, like, ooh, that fish is as old as
keeps carrying the ball. Look at that. Look at that. Get it, Dolphin. started without us without the instructors oh they're coming it's three of them she doesn't like to walk by herself she likes to have somebody hold her hand That whistle is going to be an indication that she did 
a great job. So we have a couple trainers helping us out here. There you go. You can see spear taken up there. That's exactly what we want to see. Yeah, you can clap. That's fine. Go right ahead. Give spear to the first thing. What we're going to see next, though, is we're going to try and take it a little bit further. So you can see that very long target club that our trainer in the center has there. And it's going to be to help spear get further across the field. Because eventually this behavior, we want her to get almost all the way across. So you're going to see a hand signal. She's going to get a little bit of that target pull. And she can get higher. And she keeps going. There we go. Fun day. You had fun. You had fun. Shoo. 